two seconds when you pick up the bead and it becomes buttery no matter what your ratio is. One, two, three. Now it's become, and with the chisel powder, it's very buttery. That is medium, so it's not going to dry up on you, but it will seize up a little bit quicker, so it gives you more time. It gives you enough time to work with it. But also, you know, you don't have to wait for the dry too much. For those of you guys that work a little quicker now um, with the medium setting monomer, look at that. I like to be able to move the powder without having it runny, so that's what my medium setting monomer wants to get to, like the al dente feeling. Ooh, yeah. You said this tip was a little bit thin, but I actually sculpted it out, make it a little bit wider. All about the application, right? This is for my ombre. I'm gonna test the color out real quick to make sure this is gonna be very beautiful. With this nice nude here, I'm gonna do my ombre right now. One, two, three. Oh yes, oh yes. Look at that. It's like a nice milky nude. Covers perfectly. Did my ombre bead first, just like how I teach in my classes. One, two, three. Thank you for the stars. I'm gonna do my cuticle bead. I'm gonna make sure I'm not gonna drag over to my ombre, okay? Because I already did my ombre. Mm -mm. Of course, I'm going to cap this with clear later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit more nude, though, just to be safe right here in the apex area. So I'm just testing out the powder right now. I'm just, you know, my first live back doing nails. Just got to make sure it's going to be nice, right, guys? Look at the ombre. Ain't that beautiful? Hey, what's up? Thank you, Lynn Holtz. Beautiful. Ooh. Classic. This one I'm going to do all nude because I'm going to do a design later. But I'm going to go through and do the ones I'm going to do ombres first. Um, so this one, I'm, the middle one, I'm going to do ombre. See? One, two. And it works with any powder you want to use. Once you place it, the bead will be like that. It won't be runny. And the monomer is very good, especially with chisel. And see how it's seizing up right away? Not right away, but like it's it's medium. It's like buttery, so that I don't have to actually work with it. And plus, um, par with this chisel powder, which is an amazing powder. Um, it makes the monomer work, work so well with it that you have just that consistency where I can just slightly brush my 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 acrylic brush through, and it won't drag the powder through as in like you know when it's like really runny, right? It just gives it a nice you know movement down evenly, so that you don't have to worry about. Um, spots being thinner and thicker, just like that. It's one of the reasons why I like a universal monomer, and this will work the same way with any powder I believe that you use. Is that still moldable? I'm always shaping, shaping my my powder. What's the difference between the clear nails you put on and the other nails around around here? Um, you can use clear nails if you want. I just don't have all the other nails available to me. So clear nails is a perfectly fine thing to use, okay? Don't worry about that. And the clear nails just sometimes we use it for encapsulation. So they want the nails clear. Like one, two, three, you see that? Marbles. They use it encapsulation, they want the nails clear, but I just have clear nails right now. You can use natural tips too, if you're doing full coverage nails like this. Can't wait to try the monomer. I, Liz, I can't wait for you to try it either. I also want you guys to try it and also give me your honest review, okay? Like I honestly, um, I, I, I have to say that it's not gonna be a, um, uh, an odorless monomer, but I don't really know how odorless monomer works because I, I think all monomer has some kind of odor, right? So, but I think as a medium odor, it's not as strong as Mia Secret and yeah, C&D or Young Nails. 
but um, because I do use those and I have headaches before and I've used this and I don't have headaches. So in a way, I know that this monomer is not as strong as theirs. I think I'm probably going to need a little bit more green on here. I'm in like a weird position right now, guys, because my, my studio has just changed a little bit. And I don't have to make this area too thick because I got to use that to blend my, 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 my nude anyway. But the base of the nail, I do have to have some kind of thickness to it, okay? See, I'm just going to leave the powder there. If it's too wet, you just leave the powder there. It will dry. You don't have to drag it through unless you need to, okay? You guys got to remember, when powder is in there, if it's too, a little bit too wet, you can leave it there. Just make sure it doesn't overflow the side. And when you're ready to move it, you see how it's moving very nice and buttery? See that? It moved right through. Gave me that thickness I need. Very even. See? So now I'm going to go back through and do all these nails nude because I want to do designs on these. So I do a two bead process, just like how I do my ombre, okay? Place my bead. I don't press down. Because if I press down, I'm going to cause the powder to move on the, to the side. That's just more work for me. And welcome, everybody. Please do hit that share button. I know Facebook's a little weird with sharing right now. I'm not allowed to share that much or, or consider me spam, but I appreciate that. I got so much stuff coming along for this page, for this community, you guys. It's so crazy. I don't even want to talk about it because... You guys will get too excited. This community is going to grow, and I'm definitely going to add more and more content. And I have to get the community more involved also. The Nail Dead Studios page is going to be accessible. And, you know, I'm going to give people chances to go live on here or something like that in the future and just, you know, have a platform for you guys to share knowledge because I get really busy when I'm traveling. I can't live. I don't make sure the content is there. But I have to really think about what how I'm going to do that. I don't want to just do it out of nowhere, you know, it has to be some kind of restriction, some kind of rules. I always told you this page is about, you know, the community. So it should, the, the Nail Dead brand is for the community. I'm going to let the community have control, have somewhat control over it. The Nail Dead brand is like a, a credit union. Yeah, you can't, monomer, you can't smell it. After a while, you can't smell it. I'm going to be honest with you. What do you guys think about that idea? I pick a few people that want to live stream, and during the times when I can't, you know, they can live on here and show the content, about themselves a little bit. Um, you know, I think that's a good way of giving back to the community, yeah? This brand doesn't belong to me, per se. It was given to me. The name was given to me, right? By the community. By the nail techs. How much is the big bottle? I think it's on the website. My wife does all the pricing, and she does it very reasonable. A lot of people are telling me, wow, they're so cheap. I'm like, really? Okay, sure. Fantastic. I don't care. My wife, I don't do any of the pricing, guys. Please, my wife, she does it all. This is good enough for me. So some I definitely can do a bigger Apex, but I think this is really good enough for me. I don't know. Let me see if I'm talking. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Yeah, yeah, yes, but yeah, yeah, I have to have some control system, yes. That's why I don't wanna make any promises. The monomer is the truth. <laughs> you know what's funny? The people that are copying the monomer is the truth, they're my students, guys. They, they used it a little bit. Let's pet, um, Boston and the Philly students are the only ones that got to use it first before it launched. So, I will try to bring some lamps back, depending and how they price it. See that is medium. As in like, it's not super runny. If this was me a secret, oh Lord, I'd have to wait like 10 seconds. Shaping my nail. How do you guys like that? That smoothness. 
Shaping it. Oh, my nails. Look at that shape. It's there. Shape is there, y'all. Just like that. Let's we'll do our second bead, which is also our apex bead, preferably. I'll get this at one, two, three step marble. Boom. You know that's ready. You put it down. Look at that. Not even flooding. Perfect control. Blend it in. Blend it in. I miss doing these close up for you guys. This is be so pleasing. Miss your videos. <laughs> I miss your videos of all the classes you're doing. Um, I do videos during when I do a class. I do like quick stories and stuff. I don't actually do the lives. I do the lives towards the end or towards the middle when I do have time, depending on the class, you know. And we gotta blend in the cuticle, the the apex bead. You can't just leave the bead there, okay? You can't be balking out. Go through and do the ombres for all these other ones. I'm telling you, this monomer is the truth, and with chisel powder, it's just nice and buttery. Hey, hey. Thank you. I have a now dead library. <laughs> Y'all crazy. You guys like that? I haven't done the designs yet, guys. It's 349 of you guys in here. All oh, you guys can hit that share button. Just on your Facebook, it's fine too. <laughs> people need to see this. Now, I've been getting used to the habit of doing one hand first because I saw that people that join later, you guys see me do the other hand. So you guys don't feel like, oh, I missed out the whole process of application. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. I think it's my chair that's ruining your angle. Is it? No, I just I just set this up. This has to be moved down here on the ground. <laughs> Let's move over a little bit. But why let them slow you down? What do you mean? Right, there you go. 
three seconds. Yep, all, yeah, all my lives are saved. You go back and watch any time. So this is thinner on the tip. I'm actually gonna sculpt it. I wait for this to get more and more dry and I'll be able to sculpt it out and make it a little bit wider. Sometimes the stiletto tips, the pinky ones, they're just made thinner and you don't want it to be that thin. You also, see, you can use the powder to actually sculpt it, make it a little bit wider. See that? This is my first video. I'm always, always, almost all the time. What you fly to use? Um, I use a Pro Power 20K. I'm gonna go through and do all the the, the green first. Then I'm gonna go back through and um. One, two, and a three. So I'll leave it there. As long as I took my plans nailed down, I don't have to worry about it. And on my timing, one, two, three, is based on my monomer and this powder, okay? It may be different with your powder, unfortunately. <laughs> don't go off of what I do every time, okay? Your powder may be different. Your monomer may be different, but this is my ratio and everything. I'm so used to it. That's why it's nice to use, like, the same type of uh, monomer because you can actually get the timing down for different powders. You switch, switching monomers around definitely is a bigger variable than switching out powders, okay? Of course, I know I need a bigger bead for this one. So I need more monomer, longer in the powder, and I get a bigger bead. Now, one, two, three. Too runny. It's a perfect consistency. So now I'm going to need a little bit more monomer. See, I only poured just enough because you guys. I know for a fact that a lot of you guys, okay, right now that are sitting there thinking, oh, he's talking about me when I'm saying this. You're pouring too much monomer. You're not using, you're using, you're, you're contaminating too much of your monomer, and then you have to throw it out, and you're wasting monomer, okay? Pour, I'd rather you pour not enough and add more and waste monomer, okay? Use it wisely. I know I'm going to add a little bit more, just enough, okay? Use it wisely, please. Please, guys. So I'm gonna do my ombre first. Because the monomer does get contaminated and then you can't use it for every type of powder that you're gonna be using next in your next set. Or maybe it could be your last set of the day and you're over pouring it. As that monomer is sitting there, it, it, as it's sitting there, it gets it, it gets exposed to you know outside, you know, debris, dust, heat, temperature. Not gonna be the same as when you pour it straight out of the bottle, okay? So be careful with that. I'm trying to, we have to save money as nail techs. We need to save money. Thirty milliliter is all you. Uh, if you have a thirty milliliter dampening dish, which is standard, you only need to pour fifteen, okay? Half of it. Okay, you, you should not be able to dunk this whole brush in there and, and the monomer get all the way to the, the metal casing. You only need a half of the brush to get into the monomer because it'll will, it will soak up the brush will soak up the monomer, okay? Remember that. You have to dump it all the way in there. It doesn't have to submerge the whole brush. Just half it touching the monomer will be enough for it to soak up enough monomer. Monomer utilization. A lot of you guys are using 
too much monomer. So definitely Okay. Yes, facts, facts. I'm real. Exactly. Crazy people for the mind. Yes, to the brim. Treat like an actual chemical, I would say. Yeah, yes, definitely. Yep, that's me. <laughs> See, poor as you go, poor as you go. I always, um, for beginners, if you do an ombre, I do recommend doing this three bead ombre. You put the, this first bead down just to create your ombre. What that does is it, it gives you the ability to do an even ombre. You want your ombre to be consistent throughout your nails, okay? If you do, yes, you can do a big bead all the way up top, but you may not be able to have the control. So as long as I have my ombre down, look, my ombre, my blend is there already, right? I'm gonna go back up and I'm gonna do my cuticle bead. And I'm not going to drag this bead all the way through my nail. I'm going to drag it just up to the ombre because I don't want to make it any longer than I should. I'm going to my cuticle bead up. Make sure I flush it. So later I want to do cuticle work. It's a lot easier for me to do cuticle work right now. See that? There you go. I use a dampening dish with a deep but small pores. There you go. There you go. That's smart. Trust me. It's not, I'm not trying to be like, oh, you guys are doing it wrong. I'm just trying to save you guys money. You can pour as much as you want. You know what I mean? If you want to pour enough for all your neighbors too, fine. But don't complain to me when you're breaking your wallet. Your neighbor doesn't need to smell your monomer, just you and your room. The more monomer you, you pour, the more stronger the monomer smell in your room is, right? So limit the amount of exposure. I know a lot of you guys are working from home or small studio. You don't want that monomer to be crazy, right? It's different for salons. We have bigger, bigger bigger setting we'll be able to work a little bit easier because you know we have ventilation we have a bigger area so it ventilates easier you are in a small room you got to be careful okay so this this chisel is nice was it 191 that's actually really nice for a, a nice uh pastel ombre so i'm gonna do my faux nail here one Two, three. Place the bead. Yes. I wait for the potter to cook. I'm not going to rush it. To be honest, what's the point of rushing it? Waiting for the potter to cook. Like that. You don't have to rush it, guys. I know sometimes it feels like, oh, the powder's wet. I'm gonna, whatever you know, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just, you know, pull it, pull it, pull it. You don't always have to pull the powder when it's wet, okay? Humidifier works really well. Back. Yeah, the color, this color combination is bomb and dog. I love this color combo. One, two, three. This is for my cuticle, okay? I'll add my apex if I need to. The main concern is your cuticle. Don't worry about apex too much. You guys just always worry about apex. Make sure your cuticle be is nice and flush, okay? Let's work for you later. You can add the apex at any time in your application process. I'm always about getting the cuticles flush so that later on when I do cuticle work, it's going to be nice and easy. I can add another bead later to build my apex. Okay. 
So now I have to worry about the cuticle area, and I can focus on my apex. Bring it in. I don't want the nail wide, so I'm always going to do like from the side to side motion. I bring the powder inward, okay? And I want to bring, I don't want the powder to be too, the nail to be too wide. I was using the fullness of my brush to brush through the nail to make sure everything's nice and even. At this point, the powder is very al dente, so it will move through the nail without having any spots that are thinner and thicker, okay? You have a little bit of nice apex right there, see? Boop! Oh, this can shape up later. Do you recommend chisel? <sighs> Hell yeah, I recommend chisel. I mean, you're watching me use it. What do you think? Um, what your personally um, opinion about chisel after watching me use it? This is, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I want you to be honest. I know chisel is one of my biggest sponsors, but look at how I'm using their product. Look how it works. Um, the powder itself is buttery, and I, for some reason, my monomer was amazing with it, and I'm really blessed to have that. It's a very good price. I mean, for 10 to 12 bucks, you can get a two ounce. Is I think you cannot really beat that, right, at this point. One, two, three. <laughs> Jeez. It was like falling, trying to catch it with my, my chest and everything. Okay, so I'm finished with my set. I'm going to start doing some hand filing. I'm going to start uh, clear capping my uh, ombre. I do recommend for you guys that are new with ombre to clear cap the ombre portion so you don't drill or buff it off by accident. Which will happen by accident. There you go. So let me go grab a clear real quick, guys. Oh, I have one right here. Okay, so I'm going to clear cap. Just the ombre portion, okay? Right here, I'm going to put a little bit of clear. I want to protect my ombre. Um, later I want to file, if I over file, over drill, I don't have to worry about it, taking off my ombre, okay? Just remember how how many, how many much you put on there, it's going to reflect how, how much you can file later. So you don't put that much on, you got to be careful, you got to put a lot on. I don't, I don't recommend putting a lot on because you're definitely going to have to, you don't want to make it too bulky, okay? So a lot of times if you know you got to do this, you can also utilize this this phase of the the process to build your apex also a little bit more okay i'm just gonna wipe right through i don't want to add any bulkness to it i just want to protect my ombre a little bit clear so later i want to file and drill i don't have to take it off because a lot we spent a lot of time working on this ombre and last thing i want to do is drill it off you know The same for all the ones that we did ombre. Only the ones we did ombre, okay?
It's like this one. It's a little bit flat there. Because my bun, I'm going to make it up with my clear. Earlier, I knew it was a little bit flat, but I wasn't going to add any more of the, the green, right? It's too late. I already add my ombre, so I'm going to wait until I do my clear. I can do that. I can make up you can make up for any structure that you want to change later on, okay? With the clear. See? No more. like that and of course our monomer as much as we want to save it we can't really save it because we've used you know pigment we use nudes we use clear at some point this monomer is like you know i'm not i'm done so if we're gonna throw it out i'd rather throw out this one mono monomer than this mount mono monomer see that is that barely any left i'm gonna use the rest of this to clean my brush i'm not gonna waste it come on now You really have control of my beats? Yeah, thank you. I, it's, it's my application is definitely what I'm known for. Um, I definitely pride myself so in my application, so I appreciate that. Control of my powder, what I teach in class mainly, and then we teach designs too in our classes. And yeah, Connecticut and Atlanta is filling up for those guys that are still on the fence about it. Um, when I when I launch the flyer, it's gonna fill up. So if you still want to come to Connecticut and Atlanta, get in it now, okay? Um, it will be filled up in a couple of weeks once I launch the flowers, the flyers. And the rest of this, I just soak it up. And when you throw this away, don't throw it in your trash bin if you're working at home. Get a Ziploc bag, a small container, empty pesky bottle, stick it in there and seal it up. Because this is another cause of your monomer smelling a lot. If you're in a small room that's not ventilated, you can also eliminate the smell of monomer a little bit better for yourself. So you're not, you know, in too much fumes. That's a little bit of a trick that I want to let you guys know. Hopefully that helps a lot of you guys. Um, get it in empty container. Excelente. Thank you. Gracias. See, we have these two. I'm going to do design. This is going to leave ombre. <laughs> and I'm using a 100 100. And I don't really shape that much. I do all my shaping. Switch over. Yeah, there you go. I don't do that a lot of shaping. Um, this, this hand file of mine is just used for um, cleaning up my shape. My shaping should have been, been there during my application. So I'm, I'm generally just cleaning up my shape right now. And usually it takes about 10, 15 seconds to get your, look at that nice crisp shape, y'all. Look at that coffin. It's worth it to take the class. <laughs> More Quita. I feel like I'm going to see you again soon, Marquita. Yeah, a lot of my, my students in here are in the class. You have to DM me um, for the information, for the class information. Here, a majority of the time, DM me on my private, um, private Facebook. You can tell me I'm here too, I'll send, and my assistants will send you the link to my private Facebook. <laughs> if you guys, all my students in here, if you guys started using all the, the stuff you guys got from the sponsors, that's a lot of stuff, right? <laughs> you guys are lucky. I don't, I don't think any class gets that much stuff. I the nail dead classes. Me and my necklace. Oh. We'll be in another class soon. <laughs> I know. I'm not going to come back to New York, actually. I'm going to go no near New York, maybe in Jersey or Connecticut. Well, I don't have Connecticut class already. But the problem with New York, guys, is it's just too expensive to, to, to host a class there for the students, not for me. Yes, I've got students that are traveling from upstate New York and they're staying in hotels. It costs them so much money. I want them to be able to travel somewhere where they, they don't cost them much money because New York City is just so much, it's so expensive. So I'd rather you guys travel a little bit longer and go to Jersey or Connecticut and then have, you know, it's be cheaper for you guys to have housing and then parking. Oh my goodness. Come on. Let's be real. We're not parking 40 
30 to 40 people in New York here, right, you guys? 30, 40 dollars a day for parking? Uh, no thanks. Nope, nope, nope. So I was like, wow. Yeah, I'm the class is about the class is about education. My my sponsors are the ones that give. Okay, I don't give. Um, I, I appreciate that's why I appreciate my sponsors. Chizzo, Anthony Vince, Wave Joe. They're the ones that are giving. I'm just happy that they're supporting me to support my students. Of course I want to give you guys the best product possible and as much as I can. It offsets the cost of tuition, which is pretty dang good. But at the end of the day, it's the sponsors, the, the support of the sponsors also, you know? We also have to thank them. Can't take credit for everything myself. There you guys go. I have a client tomorrow for the pink and purple you taught me. Posted it, like you said. Someone invites me and asked for it. I told you. I keep telling everyone in students in class, post the stuff you're doing in class. Your clients will want it. My students get booked up in class. You guys believe that? In the two days they, they, they spent with me, they get booked up in class. I'm telling you, Marquita, I wasn't lying, was I? I wasn't lying, was, was I? Like, I tell my students, post everything you learn in class on your Instagram, on your Facebook, whatever. Your clients, will, and they, when they do that, the clients are all booking them in the class. I can see students there sitting on their phone. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, oh, I'm booking appointments right now. <laughs> I'm like, okay, good. I'll get back to work after you're done. No, you don't get nail license for these classes. These classes are just training classes. Nail license you have to seek through your, uh, your your state board. There's no such class that will give you a nail license, okay? Don't ever fall for that. You know, I don't want anybody to get scammed. There's no two-day class that's going to give you a, a nail license or anything like that. I don't care how good I get. I'm still watching you for inspiration. <laughs> I want you guys to get better than me, actually. Someday you might be able to take over for me. That's why, I'm, 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 that's why I have so high expectations for my students. I can't do this forever, guys. But I can breed the next generation of live streamers to help people. You know? If they have the same mentality as me, they're my, they're my students. And I'm their mentor. They're going to listen. They're going to, you know, follow my footsteps. I'd be so humbled to pass down that. They're gonna be constant. They're gonna do live streams, helping people, just like how I help them. I never ever want anybody to be just as good as me. All my students, I always strive for them to be better than me. Because <laughs> in the industry, in five years, there's gonna be so many new nail techs. They're gonna be so crazy. I can't keep up. I'm in my prime, like, now, five years ago, uh, a couple years ago, I was in my prime, but, like, anything else, you kind of, when you get busy with other other aspects of the industry, you can't be the sharp, the sharpest tool anymore. Everybody's sharpening their fangs, coming after you. I have students, I tell them, come after me, you know? <laughs> I'm ready. Just don't do me like Jon Snow did. Queen of Dragons, okay? Mother of Dragons. You're not taking like video? Oh, thank you. Are you climbing with uh, Pucci when you're in Ethiopia? No. Um, Pucci will probably come out and hang out. Um, uh, Pucci is a good friend of mine. Uh, Pucci nails, I don't know you guys know her. You guys should. She's been in the industry for so long. Very, very, like, uh, very supportive in the industry. Um, I'm doing that class with um, Gina and Tino. That's our team. Our dream team. I collab with a lot of other nail techs, but Gina and uh, Tino are like my my main collabs. That we just work so well together. We have the same mind mentality, the same mindset, to be honest with you. Us young, well, we'll keep it in Yes, of course you guys will keep it in <laughs> You guys think in five, ten years from now when I'm teaching classes and doing all this stuff, I'm not behind the table as much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to compete with y'all. You guys are so lucky. Take advantage of us, OGs, and 
run, get, go past it. I'll be proud. I'll be proud to see my student pass me. I want anybody that follows me or follows my techniques or, you know, my teachings. I'll be happy when they, when they surpass me. That means you're passing down a legacy, y'all. Don't think of it as a competition. And someone that you've trained up or someone that is inspired by you or looks up to you, passes you, that should be a humbling experience. It means you pass on a legacy. You're not losing. They're actually they're actually taking your ideas, your techniques to the next level. Who the hell wouldn't want that? I would love it if someone would take my techniques or my ideas to the next level. That's humbling to me. Can you have class to Africa? No, I can't. It would be too crazy. Can't even travel to the UK, let alone South Africa. Fresh name. Sorry, guys. There we go. Nice and crisp day. There you go, y'all. The set is done. Shaping is done. Go through. Do some hand filing because my application is super smooth. I'm just going to hand file the rest of the way and then do my cuticle work and then buff and I'm good. You guys, you guys agree that the moment you stop competing, everything just becomes more natural, more unique. I don't think people should compete in this new industry. Friendly competition? Hell yeah. I'm down. But competing wise, it's in, I want to be better than you. And I have to figure out a way to make you worse than me. Okay, that's that. Some people compete by making themselves, to make it hard, uh, make it so that you're worse than them. Now, I want to compete to be for progr progression, okay? Not everybody's your competition. <laughs> pick your pick your friendly competition wisely. Not everybody's the same level as you. Hey, happy happy uh oh, this is kind of a uh, Easter Eve type of color, huh? Happy Easter Eve, y'all. Hope y'all spend some good time with your family and stay healthy and stay safe. Okay, <laughs> question. When will you know it? It'll be it'll be this month, Elizabeth. It'll be this month. I'm guarantee you. They're coming in this month. I'll announce it. I'm sorry. <laughs> everything everything will be back in stock this month. The monomer is on the market right now. So where's everybody watching from? Do you have I actually like the drill, to be honest with you? Um, but the hand filing sometimes I feel like it's a little bit quicker because um, my application is really smooth, so I don't have to break down a lot. So yeah, I I'm starting to prefer the hand filing a little bit more now. It's just a little bit quicker for me. Memphis, nice. I used to ask where everybody's watching from just so I know where to put my classes, but now I'm pretty much can go anywhere and my classes are desired. So I just pick big cities or cities near. And the reason I don't go to any like the I would try to make it to every state. Georgia, Texas. Ooh, there you go. I can't wait to go to ATL. I know a lot of you guys are, like, talented in ATL. And Connecticut also. For those of you guys that missed my New York class, Connecticut is probably the closest you're going to get. For now, anyway. I definitely take advantage of that. I know a lot of you guys miss out in New York. Make that trip. 
get out of the city. Learn some. Come back. You can see everything's so smooth. California, yeah, we're gonna go to Cali summer. We're gonna wait at West Coast after GA, Georgia. Send the email like I'll check my DMs later. Florida, Ohio, okay, Bay Area, please. Ah, man. Milwaukee. You know, California, y'all's too big. Uh, Kendra, we are coming to Las Vegas. We are going to be in Vegas. <laughs> Vegas will be summer. Cali, Vegas is summer, okay? Wow. Denver, we're going to go Denver first. We're going to hit Vegas, then we're going to hit Cali. We're going we're gonna to inch our way there, okay? <laughs> I'm going to move slowly westward. Hey Daisy. Hey Eric. Eric Annie. Eric and Annie. Yes, we're we're inching away to West Coast after ATL. I'll announce the the West Coast classes probably in a couple weeks. After our Chicago class, we'll announce. Vegas close enough. I mean, you can go to Vegas too. I mean, I'm gonna come to Cali. I just gotta hit Vegas first. <laughs> I'm making a way. I probably announced Vegas and Cali at the same time. Yeah. I don't know. I know it might be too much work. Because our smoother our application is, the less work we have to do, guys. Now, if you were have thick, thicker application, definitely you have to probably go with a drill, break down the ball first. Because my application was so smooth, I'm gonna use the flatten of this board, and I'm gonna be able to just go through and circular motion around, and I'll be able to get maximum coverage. No, I haven't done the cuticle area. I'll do that real quick after I'm done here. As you can see, I can break down any slight thickness. This cuticle works buff, and we'll do some nice, nice designs. So I'm gonna put some butterflies on here. Also, putting some gel marbling, some foil, a lot of stuff left on here. Go through and do my cuticle work right now. Color is stunning. Thank you. You're from Chicago? Yeah, I think I'm coming to Chicago in a couple weeks. Chicago 19th and 20th for my class. Gonna go through and I'm gonna remember earlier how we were so worried about flushing the cuticle area. That's why we do that. We flush it so that we we have to do cuticle work seamlessly.
and we're not going to drill too much, okay? Just blending this area out. Because remember that clear we had earlier? If we over drill it, we're going to take away the ombre, okay? So be careful. Not to worry about too much. Just make sure it's flush because this is where the lifts come from, guys. You need to get in the cube area, flush it, get the cube nice and clean, blend it too. I kind of come to class, get an autograph, and a selfie, not a tech. <laughs> I can't because a lot of the time my classes um, we're limited time to even have in the vicinity. We don't want to allow other non-students in there because a lot of people just stop by and stuff. So we don't we don't announce the location or anything. Only students have access to that, unfortunately. a good time in cleaning a full set i say an hour and a half if you're doing a long design set um anything just basic set is under 30 minutes or 45 minutes you're just doing a color set about 45 minutes sub one hour for any just basic set long design set an hour and a half we up 30 minutes for doing designs This is a uh, medium bit, it's a taper head. I do have this fine bit, but it's coming in soon. My 5-1 is so popular, when they come in, they get sold out so fast, it's crazy, guys. Um, they are on the way. So probably this month, maybe a week, I want to say. I'll announce it when it comes in for you guys. Yes, we really get it. Should be plenty. But that one, I even I don't have it because I, I use it in, in Texas class in Houston. And I think I lost it or one of my students borrowed and never gave it back. <clears throat> students in Texas. Hmm. Hmm. important for the cuticle area to get flush guys and clean and this is where like all the debris and uh, and this is where all the lift come from when when this starts to grow out make sure it's nice and flush so there's no excess or anything like that it's gonna help it's 
same technique I do the same over and over. Repetitiveness, repetitiveness. Not doing much. I'm only doing smoothing out those rich marks that I use for my hand filer. Yeah, the blend is still there. Ombre is protected. Nice and smooth. What's everybody doing for Easter? Any Easter egg hunts? kids in my house so just chill that's what I'm talking about I have kids unfortunately is that bit skin safe oh no it's not this bit is sharp I don't use any bit that's uh, safety bit you just gotta be careful this bit is very sharp um, but it's a little bit worn out any sharp bit you use after a while it actually gets worn out so don't worry about that being too sharp guys Thank you. Hello, Ying. Vicky, how are you? Lâu quá không thấy Yến vô đây à. Ủa, mình cũng không bao giờ thấy Yến vô đây nữa. Lần đầu tiên đó. Nếu làm gì không đúng mà đừng có nói giùm nha. <cười> yes, you guys have noticed I am very fluent in Vietnamese also, so I do have some Vietnamese followers and such. Yes, actually pretty pretty lucky because I can literally do this all in Vietnamese and have cater to my Vietnamese following, but I feel so bad. I need like subtitles. Guys, imagine we can have subtitles. <coughs> imagine we had subtitles, yeah. That'd be awesome. Subtitles in all languages. No that international. No that international. Đẹp quá rồi hả? Cảm ơn nha. Cảm ơn bạn. Thấy bạn làm cũng đẹp lắm à. Đoạn này thấy Yến, Yến là bỏ mấy cái mấy set lên quá đẹp luôn. Vẽ đẹp này cho mơ bên đẹp nè. Xuất sắc. Thank you, Miss Mona. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. So guys, I'm gonna start up the TV show for Nerdad Studios soon, where I'll be inviting a lot of, you know, 
educators and top and techs. And we're having like once a week, we'll schedule it, have a nice show. And you will let, let you guys ask questions beforehand. And so we can let you guys choose the topic, get the audience interactive. And it'll be like a Netflix series every week, one show on a certain day. And then, um, yeah, I think it'll be fun. It's like a kind of Jada Pinkett Smith TV show but with nails. Can you say Enzana? Izana? Izana or Enzana? Izana? That sounds like a beautiful name. Izana. Izana Zika. Is that, are you from Guana, or South Africa? What I'm doing right now is I'm going to clean up underneath a little bit. Any excess, guys? Yeah, all the excess just come right out. This is from like any overfill. I'm really a big stickler. If you guys have any overfill right now, it does take away your shape, so just, you know, clean it out. Now talk round table, that's what I'm talking about. See, you get the C curve. And we're done. On to the design portion, y'all. Give it a nice buffaroni. Italy, I'm on to Chabayo. I'm, I'm probably, I probably said that wrong. <laughs> Just type in your, your native language and let me know that murder, okay? I'll read it out. I'll murder it any way possible. No, thanks to her, it's like, dress it. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, wash your hands. All right, guys, I'm going to use these butterflies. I, they're not foil. They're water transfer right here. So water transfer butterflies, you really got to cut them out. So make sure you cut them out. Less of the white is fine because when you put this in the water, it's going to come over as clear. This white is going to leave the paper and it's going to be clear. So I'd say take out as much as much of it as possible. Um, you don't want too much of the white because you want it to overtake. So we use a very nice sharp scissor. You can get those embroidery scissors off my website. I have the nice ones out there. So And yeah, you don't, don't just cut these out. Like that, okay. That one down. So 
so this is not foil, it's water transfer. So you put this in water and it'll separate from the um the white here, the paper, and you'll be able to put it like a nice film over, okay? So I'm probably gonna do that first. <laughs> I I might do that last. Do I dare want to do some ink marbling on this too? So I'm going to use chisels foil gel then I'm also gonna use my gold to create these nice designs for this butterfly one of the hands and I'm the other one I'm gonna gel marbling so um, it's gonna take a, a process now I'm gonna put some bling on it so you cut out what I need okay you can find this it's really nice on my website I don't know if there's any left actually I sold a bunch of these at my classes um, it comes in rose gold all colors I like using gold I'm gonna use my doo -doo -doo -doo, my liner brush, my striper brush here to do the design. I'm just gonna put a tad, a teeny bit of <clears throat> my art. Don't have my art palette tray right now. I'm gonna use this clear tray. Just put out a little bit, and I'm you're gonna you're gonna be um, transferring the foil over. First, I'm gonna do. Actually, I'm gonna use some of these nude too. These two colors from Wave Gel. I'm gonna create like a mesh kind of feel to it. I'm gonna add a little bit white too. I get my white. Everything is moved out of my station. Okay, here we go, guys. This one, I'm gonna just draw in some nice, just. Position that in there first. Go ahead.
Okay. And for the next one, I'll be using this volumen gel, a wave gel revolution. And I'm gonna do actually a whole different look. <clears throat> what? Oh no, no, not you. Give me one second, guys, while I prepare this. I do all this first before I do my um, butterflies because I don't want my butterflies. I want my butterflies to be the last thing I want to do. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna apply one coat of the blooming gel. And I don't care this yet. And I use my now dead ombre flat brush. I use the ombre side of it. Give it some time to balloon. Okay. For this one. And I'm gonna go through with my brush again. I'm going to just specifically Oh Jesus. Sweet lady Jerry. I'm gonna be messy. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> this is the um, transfer foil gel from Wave Gel. Uh, from Thank you. Give it about sixty seconds. Oh, 
Um, I will be getting the, uh, everything back in Marquita this month. Um, like I said, all the art brushes, all the 3D brushes, everything is going to come in. Thank you, Rosalinda. How you been since class? Thank you, Deanna Pierce. So about 60 seconds. Not really. I mean, once it comes out, I'm just going to slightly dab this over where I know I put my foil gel. Maybe it will pick up what I need to pick up. Lightly. This one, I'm going to add a little bit of gold in this area. I can simply just, I can either do foil the same way I did the other one. Check it out. Turn it. All right, I'm just going to press where I need the gold to go, okay? Oh, no! Got to be careful with this one because the foil glue is definitely, uh, the wave the wave glue, it definitely can take on the foil. But you can also clear that out with some acetone. So I can take a little bit of acetone and remove that. So I gotta be careful because this um, Revolution gel is a little bit sticky, so it'll, it'll, it'll take on any foil trim you put over it. So you can take a little bit of acetone, you can remove it. But just the foil is right there in that spot right there. Even here, some spots I've got a little bit around there, I can just remove that. Ooh, 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 ooh. You gotta be careful. I wanna move the whole thing. A good way to do this to not have this happen is you can definitely, um, Buff down everything else so it's not sticky. I'll we'll put a matte tackle on first. But I just, I just, I just, this is freaking lazy. I was just lazy. I'm being lazy. I'll show you how to do it over here, okay? You know, that's not being lazy and show us how to do it the right way. Okay, fine. Let's buff this up a little bit so it's you know not as sticky. That surface not as sticky so that the um the foil doesn't apply to it. Okay. Now that's not being lazy now, Dad. Just a lazy bum. Showing us all these free techniques and being lazy about it. How dare you? How dare I, right?
I appreciate everybody with the support with the monomer yesterday. We're almost sold out. It's crazy. Actually, we are sold out of the 16 ounces. But I blame that on our, on our students. Okay. How much does this set run? A lot of money. A lot. I don't know how my clients can afford some of the nails. It's a lot of money. Half a paycheck. Something like that. Anytime you're sitting in my seat, it's already $100, no matter what you do. So just factor that in. So my clients say, no, what's up? See that? See? See what happens when you're not lazy nail dead? <laughs> And this piece of foil here, I used for a long time, okay? Okay, so now for our two little booty flies, I'm just gonna put it into some water. And then they're gonna come out and we're gonna apply them onto, I think I'm gonna put them right here, or right here, I think right here. No, I like no. Actually, I'm gonna put them right here. I like the like I like the like sticky surface, so it'll, it'll stick a little bit better. See, I'm gonna put them in some water right now, and they're gonna submerge. And you see, as these things submerge, it'll, it'll separate from the white, and it'll be clear. Okay, it takes about a few minutes for it to work. So I have a little bit of a pair of nippers. Or I'm gonna use uh, some nippers, or just a little of those tweezers. I know I have tweezers somewhere. Here it is. So I do this last because it's the last, and then I'll put stones on and I'll taco everything and everything will be in. Please work. Yeah, see, they'll separate. You see, feel these booty flies. Actually, they look better on this. Oh, okay. Actually, I'm gonna put them on here, on, on the ombre. I need to put something on there as a base because it's not gonna stick, y'all. Oh no. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on. Right here. Perfect. Oh, got it. Please don't rip. Please don't rip. Oh my god. I don't know why I just didn't hand paint these suckers. I always do. I suck it when it comes to all these sticker stuff, guys. Look at me, like, struggling with stickers right now. <clears throat> I swear to God. I tell you guys, I really, really hate these things. Stickers, foils, anything that's not within my control. Uh. Oh, damn, hot damn. Hot damn, hot damn, hot diggity damn. It's good. It's so pretty. Put this away. 
everything away. Maybe some stones. Let's do some stones. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's finish up some stones here. I'm going to use those nice AB stones, to be honest with you. That's, that's all it needs, some nice AB stones. I'm going to use a little bit of builder gel. I'm going to do the cuticle area. We don't want to overpower the design with, with like a lot of stones because that just makes no sense. We just spent a lot of time making these beautiful ass nails. Last thing I want to do is, hey. I even post these set this set today. So oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful nails. That's a good way to start my spring set. This gel will stay on pretty good. Just gonna get around the cuticle area just like that. I'll do the thumb too. This is one of them sets, guys. You guys see online, like, oh, how's it done? You know what I saw now, Dad? Do that set. <laughs> yes, you sure did. Sure did. Things in my mind. Come on, focus. Sorry, you know what I'm doing now. I'm a little busy there. Let's just call cuticle crown in the cuticle area. <laughs> Inbox you ASAP. Um, I almost have a feeling you're going to tell me that you're going to. Who in Miami can do this right now? It's gonna be tough. Yeah, if you're in Miami, you can do this right now. Get in her DMs, make that money. So we'll run to you. Fine. So before COVID, I had clients always fly from you know uh, Atlanta, Alabama, get the nails done. And 
Can't wait for them to be able to travel again and see my out of state clientele. They the they the loyal ones day ones. Woo, child. That's why you gotta appreciate your clients sometimes. Traveling, hopping on a plane, just get your nails done. That's love right there, y'all. And they don't have to even be celebrity clients. They're just clients. You know? All my clients are celebrities. You remember that, okay? All your clients are your celebrities. They're the one taking the day out, hanging out with you all day, getting their nails done. And they come back, celebrity clients. Sometimes they come and sometimes they go. I've done celebrities before. They're not gonna always be in your DMs, be booking. So this is my regular clients are the ones that give me the most clientele. And when I first started out, they always the one always hyping me up, promoting me, all that stuff. I do celebrity clients just to do, just to have it done, you know? Hey, I did a celebrity client. Nice. Get out of your system. But the money is where, this is where the money is. Those regular clients are coming every day. Get excited to see you. I get a lot of new nail techs come to this industry and they ask me, hey, I want to start doing celebrities. I'm like, why? And they're like, well, you know. I'm like, no, I don't. Why? Why you want to start doing celebrities? Um, I just, I just want to, you know, be, just want to call myself a celebrity nail tech. Well, well, you just consider all your clients celebrities. And you be a celebrity nail tech. But I haven't jumped through all those hoops. So yeah, your clients are your celebrities and you're technically a celebrity nail tech. Hey, what's up, CC? How are you? Anybody agree? Appreciate you guys. Have, appreciate you guys can have to agree with that, right? Not trying to hurt nobody's dreams. Just trying to make your dreams come to come come through quicker. <laughs> look, at, look, look, at, look at my students in here hyping me up. <laughs> See, to my students, I'm the celebrity.
Pretty ready for your library. Yeah. It's all saved here. You can come back and watch anytime. The quality here is actually better than what you have saved. Once in a while I'll give you one of these videos. For all you guys, you know, you, you guys support me from day one. I'll, I'll give you guys the bomb ass videos. I ain't care. You know? For all my day one peeps. Also, for my supporters with the badges, you guys are actually going to get some extra stuff. Um, I promise you. I promise for all of you guys that have bought badges, I don't know what the heck that is, but I know that you guys you know, bought it, and I'm going to have to make it special for you guys. I'm going to have something just unique for just the, for the supporters with the badges. Um, I don't want to just, you know, leave you all hanging or anything like that. I'm almost finished, you guys. We're going to top coat. <laughs> and then we're going to show you guys what we did. Such a beautiful set. Bling. Gel art. Ombre. This is, these are the sets. That you see, you know, and you're like, oh, hey. And these are as inspo, y'all. I want to see if you reproduce this set, okay? Okay, there we go, guys. Those guys have stayed the whole time. Wow. Those guys are just jumping in. Hello. Hello, hello. Hey, baby. Hey, hey. Oh, I'm having myself up. I'm having myself up. They are gorgeous. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Those are very kind words. I love it. Love it, guys. Thank you. Okay. Switch. 
Ja. Mir geht es um Kilo Euer. Ja. Ja, want some cuticle oil pens is for sale. Support now, then. <laughs> Cost nothing to ship. Be good, like cart stuffers. Comes in lavender, cherry, and vanilla. And then you go, let's see the final product. It's the final product. Yes, child, get your bag, get paid. Getting paid. <laughs> 